SpongeBob. That looks mighty functional, unlike my family. The big G said his wife was always supportive. What now? Is that enough stuff? Can we fill up now? Please, please. I don't understand why there's part of the chum book there. There's an inventor lives nearby. You should talk to him. Alright. Well, I'm guessing this is probably a new episode. I know I didn't do intros or outros for probably either of the previous two episodes. Because I would just... Like I said, I do these in sessions. I don't want to have to play this game any more than I need to. I'm sorry about that. But welcome back. We're still playing this. It's still Yo here. And you probably knew that. Same ranting voice. No matter what speed she's going at. This time we'll talk about something other than psychology and universal nonsense. But I don't know what yet. Oh. The worst part is that we can't skip through these. No, I just had a call from the chief on what we call a telephone. I'm sorry, but I can't help you at the moment. I've got troubles of my own. What's wrong? Oh, SpongeBob could make it all better. The creature stole my free jellyfish power cells. I hate those creatures. And just as I was about to activate my greatest invention. I'd sure like to see that. How about I go get those free power cells for you? Then will you help me find stuff for my plane? Sounds like a good deal. Couldn't be tricky though. The monsters have locked themselves away with the cells in my workshops. Don't worry, I'll work it out as I go. I've got a very good feeling about this. I don't know what this machine does, I forgot, but I can guarantee it's something incredibly stupid. I hear the squishing. Uh, I guess that's the machine. Whatever. I'm so tired of these tropes. Like, I understand. Ugh. I guess this is what we're gonna be talking about this episode. Um, alright. Tropes are tropes for a reason, you know. They have some kind of value to the creators and the viewers, the audience. Like, in art too, I consider it a, um, an audience, you know. They are tropes for reasons, like, this happens because people can relate to it, or this happens because it makes people emotional in this sense, and yes, that's good, and, you know, cliches are the same thing. But, um, okay, one thing first. I am super conflicted about when something is like a cliche and not. You know, you'll, you'll, like, one, um, with character design and development and stuff, you'll hear, um, of Mary Sue's, which I just basically the perfect character in one bundle and um you know you'll see a lot of characters and in their own way each and every one of them is a mary sue you know like they have this going for them and therefore they're the perfect character in one bundle you know it's like they have this flaw which every character has therefore they're a Mary Sue, you know. I'm really conflicted about the way that kind of thing works. 
I'm conflicted about a lot of things, but that's a pretty, pretty big one that I try not to have destroy my life as a person. <laughs> But, you know, like, parts of... What? What am I hitting? Oh. Some things are... Some things are more common in uh, different kinds of media, I, like I said, because they ring true to humanity as a whole and stuff, but... I wonder at what point it becomes... It goes from another truth in, you know, the human condition to a cliché that everybody is tired of. You know, like, um, I don't know, I've been watching CinemaSins, uh, like, recently, like, a lot-ish recently, because it's just something to, um, have in between when I'm on my, on, on this gaming account. You know, when I'm editing videos and stuff, I, I don't want to have the same stuff on this account and, you know, like, have the same kind of content be related to this account as it is to my other YoSnap account where I'm watching, or not watching, I'm subscribed to more people uh, and they talk a lot about, you know, the cliches and things and it's like some cliches are incredibly specific and it's like, ooh. It's like, at what point did that go from just something in a couple movies to being a cliche, and why is it so specific? You know? You know, and then... And then again with the comparison thing, like, um, you know, if any other, if any other, uh, like, princess movie, in particular, like a princess movie, had a situation where the, the, uh, love interest is, oh my god, wait, <laughs> hold on, I <laughs> just <laughs> flipped out a second there, um, where the, the love interest uh, either turns out to be a bad guy or is a bad guy, then, you know, everyone's gonna say, oh, they're just copying Frozen. And it's like, are they? Or is that just another thing, you know? And at what point is it, oh, you're just copying Frozen to the, the love interest is a bad guy cliche, you know? It's really... Uh, it's something that plagues my mind. And I would like to, you know, learn more, um, more about that kind of stuff. But I don't exactly know where <laughs> to learn it from. <laughs> I think it's more of an op opinion kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know where the squishy is. And, um, going back to something I've said in, uh, other episodes of, I don't know what, <laughs> but I'm obsessed with trolls, and I'm so, so, so happy that it's coming out on the 7th of February, which is currently, currently about a month away. And, uh, a spoiler alert, yeah, they do the... I, and I, when I, I was talking to my friend, I called it the Disney thing because at this point, they've had so many, you know, recent movies 
where the the bad guy was a good guy or was like you know allies with the good guy you know Ugh. it's like oh my god that lamb lady she was the bad guy really i did not see that coming i sure thought it was the lion guy hmm. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert yeah uh whatever so that's what i said to my friend <laughs> I so saw like, uh, well, trolls. They did, uh, they did the Thisdy thing. Um, so spoiler alert. For, I see it. Spoiler alert for that. Creek is the bad guy. Well, you know, not the bad guy, but a bad guy. And if you haven't seen the movie, then it, it doesn't matter right now. Well. What is this music? I thought it was other music and then it started playing this music. Okay. Because I don't have the volume up all the way again. <laughs> but yeah, at what point does that go from something, you know, unique or even something related to a specific company like Disney, you know, where you had it in. I don't think Tangled had it. But you had it in um, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, uh, what was the one after that? Oh, Big Hero 6. And Zootopia. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, is anybody going to comment about that? The only one thus far. Yeah, the only two from that, um... Disney thing because you know it's like a, a whole group of Disney movies and stuff the only one is like um, Tangled and Moana but like I said before Moana isn't that good a movie I've seen Tangled once so I can't judge like I've seen Moana once and I can't judge but um, you know if you if you if you know nothing about a new movie and you can guess everything that's happening in it, um, it's probably not that great a movie. You know, you wouldn't accept that from a horror movie. Why would you need to accept it from a kid's movie? And you know, I understand that it's a kid's movie, but that doesn't mean they can't be individual and unique and stuff. Look at all the other things that Disney has made. You know, it's like, you can't compare, uh, I don't know, like, Toy Story to, um, Brave or something like that. You know? It's like, but if you knew everything that was going to happen in either of those movies without having any knowledge of it, then, you know, it's probably not that great a movie. <laughs> My greatest invention! You just waste! It's awesome! 